Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket. And today's video is going to be a wonderful special video. I've been wanting to do this one for some time. And it is a video tour, so I know all of you are wanting to see one of those because you like them. This one is on my friend's Matt's rig. He has it uh, kind of customized to his needs, and you'll see what I mean by that. So stay tuned for this wonderful tour, and I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, put a thumbs up, and like this video. I'm sure you will anyway. All right, we'll see ya. Stay tuned. Here it comes. Okay, Matt, you are going to show us your rig today? Yep. Who's that beautiful girl right there? This is my baby girl. This is Jade. Oh, she's awesome. She's J JJ and a Jayco. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, you are. All okay. Right. Well, I'm in a 24-foot motorhome, and I have a van that I pull behind me, and I do so with a tow dolly instead of having to pull it with all four wheels on the ground because my transmission won't allow me to. So I have a big menagerie of stuff that I have to do in order to move, but I have a van that allows us to go and explore without having to move all of our rigs. I'll show that van too. Let's scan right over there. There she is in all her glory with two kayaks because he's a fun guy and he likes to be active. <laughs> okay, so this is the outside of my rig. I have a 20 foot awning and the 20 foot awning is a manual awning, not an electric because I don't want to have to worry about a wind sensor not working or electric motors going bad and all that kind of stuff so the manual awning is best. The only thing that I have extra on this awning is the fact that it, it's a metal vacuum so the sun will not eat it. So my fabric's hidden underneath the aluminum. Okay. So, then I have storage underneath. I've got storage here. But I also, this is my main battery bank and my inverter. Now that's, that's, a, that's a huge inverter. Tell us about that. That's not just only an inverter. That's also a battery charger as well. So it's a hybrid inverter. And what it will do is it'll take power from my shore power as well as my battery power and make it feel like I have 30 amps or 50 amps all the time. Wow. Which is really nice. Yes, that is. So then we'll walk around here. Gotta have your barbecue. He's got all the good stuff. <laughs> There's the toe dolly, toe dolly. And the ladder. New toy, the ladder. Which has been very beneficial. My baby girl. I do have a slide out rig and I'll show you show you it on the inside. It's my propane and then I have another storage piece underneath. But the biggest thing about this rig is it's diesel. And I get 17 miles to the gallon pulling my motor home, or pulling the van and I get 24 without pulling the van. Oh that is outstanding. So I, I can get better fuel economy than just about any car out there. <laughs> now let's go on the inside and I'll show you the inside. Okay. So my dinette is my slide. And this comes in almost 18 inches, just under 18. And then I have storage up underneath. All the or, way up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's also a bed, that's a full size queen bed up there. And I have a ladder that allows you to get up there. Um, I have the drop cloth right here so that I don't have to heat all the unused space of the cab. Then I have all my cabinets are real wood which I have one off right now because it's stripped and I gotta get some parts to fix that. But I have a stove, 
top that's propane, mm -hmm. and then I have an electric oven as well as a microwave. And I can run that off my inverter just by hitting a button. So now my stove's on and I can run my stove or run my microwave without ever having to start the generator. I have 660 amp hours of batteries in this rig. Wow. The reason why I have so many batteries and so large of a capacity is because I have a wheelchair that I have to ride around in for long distances. Okay. Then I also have a fridge and freezer as well as a bathroom in there. And then my beds back there in the corner. We have eight inches of wonderful comfiness here. Yes. Look at that. That's so nice and soft and comfy. It, it's a custom mattress. Here's our sink area. And then I got a bathroom and a full shower. Which is like ultra deluxe in here. My goodness. And I have two fantastic fans. One here. Oh, that is very, very nice. Okay. Turn this around. Then, here's the one thing that... Oh, let me scoot in there so we can see that. This is really cool. This is my pride and joy. Let me move my movies out of here real quick. Which, I have a collection of movies. Who doesn't? So, this now exposes, this is my shelf that protects everything, but now you can see my wiring that I've done for my solar. And as you can see, I have two fuses in there, up there, and those are resettable fuses, they don't blow completely out they just disconnect their breaker fuses and that allows me to disconnect my solar completely and be able to check how all my wires and everything are maintaining very nice and I have 320 watts of solar on the roof that's not tiltable but because I tow the van I'm going to when I get back home and have the extra money, I'm gonna buy four more 160 watt solar panels and do ground deployment like what I did for Cricket on her one panel. Oh, that's so nice. And so I'm gonna have a total of 960 watts of solar. Wow, now that's impressive. That's a lot of power. <laughs> but you don't need any more than about a thousand watts. Mm -hmm. You just don't. I mean, some people say yes, but if you can tilt it and aim it towards the sun, you don't need any more. Okay. okay. All right. And that's pretty much my rig right there. Okay. Well, it's a very beautiful and impressive rig. You've done a really well job on this. Tell a little bit about the chassis. That was pretty interesting that you told me about the chassis. So this rig has a 23,000 pound chassis underneath it. It's unusual because of the fact that most of these rigs come with uh, 13, 5, or 14, 5 chassis. This is a very heavy duty chassis so that if I ever have to have my wheelchair come in here, I can. Oh, okay. And we did that specific to this rig. Fantastic. So you're not going to find another rig that has this out there. All right. Well, what do you do on the road, and um, what do you think about being a nomad? Well, if you guys saw in here, I have cameras, so I'm actually a professional photographer, and I travel doing professional photography for dogs, and so that's my passion and that's my job, and I will never go back to a regular life, I don't think, because I love the nomadic lifestyle, and it's a very relaxing but pleasant way to live your life. There's no nothing better in my opinion. 
All right, I totally agree with you. And everybody, you've got another insightful uh, wisdom from another nomad. And we will say, Beach Cricket out. Thank you, Matt. Yep. Bye-bye.